Well, this is another great day at the Groveland Church of Christ, and we are thankful to God for the multitude of His blessings. We look forward to sharing the Word of God, to studying the Word of God together. And we hope that you'll be able to join us. For those of you that are not able to be out to worship with your home congregation, uh, we pray that God will bless you. And we pray, if possible, that we'll be of some help to you through a study of the Word to God uh, together. Our Sunday evening worship hour is available live on Zoom at 6 o'clock, and our Wednesday evening Bible study is also available uh, live at 6.30 each Wednesday evening. If you cannot join us here at, at our facility, we hope that you'll join us online, that we can open God's Word and study together. Uh, a number of our folk here at Groveland are dealing with various health issues, and we continue to pray for them. Pray for God's healing and His help. Pray for Betty Ann as she recovers from her surgery. Uh, we thank God for her progress. Tend to pray for Marga as she deals with a variety of health issues. For Kevin Frank, for Janice's mom, for a number of others here. Tend to pray for Sherry's mom. Uh, Tend to pray for Tim and Sherry's son, Stuart. And we pray for uh, Christopher Radford, uh, the grandson of Sonia Radford, who works in the health field industry in, in Orlando. And for those of our congregation here, uh, Amber and Shauna and Lori and Renee, who work in health services and the health field. And uh, we just pray God will wrap each of these in his loving arms and care for them and shield and protect them. Uh, we covet your prayers here for the church in Groveland as we endeavor to do God's work. And we pray that to him in all things, be all honor and all glory.
the beloved Apostle Paul had a, a very unique view of his life, of himself. And one of the ways that he painted a, a part of his life for us was with these words found in Romans chapter 7. Wretched man that I am. And I believe that all of us can look at ourselves as sinners and consider ourselves in much the same way, wretched people. Paul wanted to know important information just as you and I want to know important information today. His question following that statement is, who will deliver me from this body of death? And just as Paul wanted to know the answer to that question, you and I want to know, who will deliver us? Is there someone who can? Is there someone who will? And Paul's response to that question rings clear. Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So it is for you and me as it was for the Apostle Paul. Our hope for delivery is found in the sacrificial death of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who was willing to leave the beauty of heaven to come to this sin-stained world, to give himself as the atoning sacrifice for our sins. O oh, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. He was willing to pay that price. He was willing to give his body to be broken on that cruel cross. He was willing to shed his blood there. The power of which can wash away all our sins. Who can deliver us? Only Jesus. But thanks be to God that he has given his life as the atoning sacrifice today. On this first day of the week, we as Christians assemble together to observe this memorial feast in thanksgiving for the sacrifice that Jesus paid on our behalf. We'll observe this bread that represents his body broken for us and this fruit of the vine that represents his blood shed for us. And we'll take these elements, we'll take these and remember the price that was paid and remember the one who is able to set us free from this body of death. May God help us as we observe this memorial feast today to remember thankfully, gratefully, the sacrifice that has been paid that we have this hope to live with God eternally.